Let's take a look how we can use a head scan and then wrap it around the Genesis figure so that we can have something like a morph like this. So this is just the head morph for the Genesis 9 figure and the body doesn't change, just the head. And the source for this is in fact a head scan like this one here. This is a video for my buddy Bob Dirk from the DAS Discord. He's doing a special project and we were talking about how to best do this with wrap, face form wrap and with DAS Studio and I thought maybe I'll make a quick video that hopefully puts you on the right track. This is the node setup that we're going to be using and I'll show you how to set this up from scratch but if you want to take a screenshot you know this now is the time. So essentially we're loading the Genesis geometry here that's the full Genesis figure and then we're going to go and turn that into just the head as well. We're doing that with the select polygons node. I'll show you how to set that up. We're creating a subset that then is just the head. And then we're going to take the head that we have and line it up so that it sort of lines up with the Genesis figure, mainly with the eyes. That's a tip I've learned from my buddy Deviant. He says as long as the eyes sort of line up, the rest of it will sort of fall into place. And he's quite right about that. Select point pairs optional, but you know, it's going to make it... Um, more accurate we're using fast wrapping and then we're using the lattice node that then combines essentially the version of the genesis head without the body with the one with the body or rather we're, we're going to tell it look at the whole figure and then look at the differences between what's happened before and after and then you know that we save the geometry out let's go do this thing Let's start with a brand new project here and with a load geometry node that'll bring in the geometry for the DAS figure. I have the G9 dev load in base resolution. I think you know how to export that, but just in case you don't, then, you know, obviously you just wouldn't have any, <laughs> any morphs dialed up. You would head over to, well, the, first of all, it's in the Genesis 9 starter essentials and it's the dev load here. So it doesn't have any eyes. I'm assuming you know how to, how to use it, but this is it, uh, load it. And then we go, whoops. And then we go and say file export wavefront obj at the bottom here. And then you go and select the DAS Studio scale here and just for good measure just click filter objects and that'll that should do the trick. So that is what's coming in. F is gonna focus on our figure and it's looking all nice and dandy. Let's split off the head because if we don't do that if we go and wrap this uh, around uh, just the head geometry then the legs and the arms are gonna just dangle around That's that's not gonna be good. So we're gonna do that with a selection here. Select polygons. So that will let us select what we want to split out essentially. On. It's basically just a selection node here. Connect that up, select it, and then head over to the visual editor at the top. That shows us the poly groups, first of all, and we're going to go and want to select the materials instead only because the materials here give us one zone that we can select and we can use that you can also use the poly group but you'll have to contend with more geometries you can also make custom selections of course but for us the materials is basically the easiest thing that we can select so this blue thing here i want to select that at the top click on the plus icon here where it says material and select the head that turns red and that means everything that's red now is part of the selection node here. That's all we need here. Switch back to the 3D viewport and grab another node that is under geometry and it's called the subset node down here. And subset means it'll be this geometry. So connect that Genesis figure and make a subset of that depending on what we've got selected here. And now if we go and switch off the Genesis figure, we see we're only left with the head. That's perfect. So now you can either go and load yourself another geometry with load save and then load the head that you already have. I don't have anything so I'm going to go and use something from the gallery here at the very bottom. This, this gallery is sort of cool. It lets you bring in sample bits and pieces and one of them is Alex here. Alex is a head so I'll just go and single click on that and then Alex gets loaded into my node graph here and that is essentially a head scan with texture so quite nice. I'll go and bring that to the top here. The problem with Alex is that this is my Genesis figure down here and the Alex head is just it's just very very large. So I can either increase the Genesis figure in size or I can decrease the head. I think it's probably a matter of using the the Genesis figure here and just sizing that up a little bit. So on the scale here, my head isn't in the way. 
facts. Let's hope it isn't. I think I'm going to go and increase that by a factor of 100. That's fine. I just need to make sure I accommodate for that later on when I bring this back in. And then I'll go and grab the head. And if you want to do, if, if you want to use this in other applications, feel free to do that. I'll just bring this up. Like I was briefly considering doing this in Blender. That is a little easier, but it looks like factor of 100 will, will sort of, you know, sort that out. We're just going to move these things roughly into place. Like my buddy Deviant says, just make sure that the eyes line up. And as long as they are fine, the rest of it will just fall into place, so to say. So since it's a scan, it's not entirely symmetrical, of course. So do do the best you can. Bring this forward just a bit, and it's probably good enough for our example here. So eye, one eye lines up, the other one slightly higher. We're not going to worry about that. Ears and mouth. Mouth is actually pretty cool, but the ears and the shoulders and stuff, we're not going to worry about that. So that is that. Just, let's just remember what we did to the Genesis figure there, factor 100. So let's uh, let's remember that. Switch this off again and switch the head on again. And now it's just a matter of wrapping these guys around one another. So we're going to do that with a fast wrapping node under alignment. There's wrapping that takes longer. Fast wrapping is a bit faster with virtually the same results. And I'm going to put that subset into the first input and then our fixed geometry into the second. So floating geometry is the thing we're going to change. So that's the Genesis geometry or the head of the Genesis geometry. And then the fixed geometry is the scan that remains static. The third point would be the point correspondences. Let's see what it looks like if we don't do that. That was fast, wasn't it? And let's switch off the subset so that we just see the result of the wrapping. Also switch off Alex here. And it's you know, it's not bad. You probably know how to do the point pairs. I'm not going to talk you through this now. I, I'm, I'm sure you know to get more accuracy into it. It's more like the workflow of how do we get just the head back into Das Studio and how do we combine this now? So let's say we're happy with this and we want to go and make sure the body comes back in because we can't just export this. Das Studio is going to say, hey, the geometry doesn't match and we need to hold, we need to have the head attached to the body. And we do that with this lattice node and that's also under geometry and uh, lattice. There it is. And lattice is a bit of a weird one. It, it says give me the first input says the geometry to deform and that is our full genesis body so we need to connect that to here and then the second input says the source deformation and the third input is the target deformation and that's essentially the parts of a different geometry that have changed and it will then look at the differences between this geometry and the before and after so to say so the first one here the, oh, sorry the second one the source deformation is going to be the subset so that's the deviation from this essentially and then the third input is the fast the output of the fast wrapping node so that's the difference between that and that and that gives us now the full body with a few issues but let's not worry about that let's switch off the fast wrapping output just so that we see this is in fact what we're getting out so it looks terrible uh, <laughs> but it is a full body and das studio is going to be happy with it because that's you know that's that's what it that's what it liked so now all that remains to be done is save that output out. We do that with load save geometry. Save geometry, there it is. Connect that up and then go and turn that into a folder of your choice. I've got this one here and I'll call it above test. There we go. And OBJ is fine. Save. And now we need to go and click compute current frame. Otherwise, it doesn't actually save out. There we go. That's that. In Das Studio, meanwhile, we have our figure still uh, selected. And if I go and use my Morph Loader Pro now, I can go and import this as a morph in here. So uh, both test, there it is. If I do that, I've got a preset here that has everything dialed up for me. So we have the name, of course, we've got the tolerance. We want reverse deformations and we want override existing morph in case we had any. That's all we need to have here. And then we say accept and that should all work. Did I get the scale right? I did. Look at that. I did get the scale right. So if this is now 100 times too big, just make sure on the import dialog you go and change a different scale.
Now, technically, it is exactly the same as what we had in the, let's put the minimum to zero here because we don't want that to go into the negative. So we've got the same bad body distortion as we had before, and we don't really want that. We don't really care about the body at all, but we had to bring it in. Otherwise, you know, the, the, the geometry wouldn't have matched. So what we can do is use the built-in Genesis head and body splitter for this and then import the morph again. So we essentially go and grab this thing under utilities here and add the G9 head split deformer onto our figure. And we don't really want to use it here as such. It doesn't really matter what it does. But if you go and click on the deformer field, you see where the attenuation is happening. So if we now select this as we import the morph again, we can attenuate the morph loader to make sure only this part will get the morph and everything else doesn't get the morph or doesn't get the vertices, so to say doesn't get the deltas so uh, once again morph loader pro bring in our morph buff test and everything is still the same i've got it here on reverse deformations override existing morphs that doesn't apply if you bring it in for the first time but now the attenuate by is sort of the the magic bit here right click on that and then go under weight maps and choose the deformer influence weights and if you select that hit accept then the morph gets imported again overwritten in fact and now both test only deforms the head and not the body so that's why we didn't have to worry about that in wrap because that's you know we didn't really care about that yeah it didn't come out perfectly but that's because i didn't spend any time making this look good inside of uh, look at the ears that's that's not good but yeah you can do that with a point pair selection node in wrap and then use the brush node to tidy this up that was it i hope this was helpful if you have any other questions about this then please let me know i hope you have success with your project and i'll see you later take care Bye bye